Hello and welcome to the Skynet Terminator Model TX. The Cyber Research System Model TX, or TX Terminator, is a highly advanced model of the Terminator, succeeding the T-1000 and produced by Skynet in an alternate timeline created from the first attempted assassination of John Connor. One unit was dispatched by Skynet into the past in order to terminate John Connor his lieutenants, and other Terminators, while ensuring no one in CRS could interfere by shutting down Skynet during its activation. With the success of the mimetic polyalloy T-1000 series, Skynet continued to develop its liquid metal technology, this time combining it with an advanced endoskeleton, which originates from the T-900 series. The resultant TX is stronger, faster, more intelligent, and deadlier than any of Skynet's previous battle units, effectively rendering them redundant. It is also developed as an anti-Terminator unit. Technology The TX series has an advanced, utilitarian battle chassis, weighing in excess of 330.6 pounds, protected by malleable, crystalline, ceramic armor interlaced with nanofibers of carbon and titanium. The TX is practically unstoppable on the battlefield, capable of sustaining extreme amounts of damage with seemingly little to no effect. Extremely strong and agile, the TX series is capable of moving its joints in ways that would be impossible for any human or older models of Terminators, featuring an endoskeleton to do so. Aided by artificial liquid steel lubrication, each joint has a massive degree of rotation. The neck is capable of 360 degree rotation, and the torso is capable of at least 180 degree rotation. The enhanced joints also show little to no wear or degradation when moving at high speeds, allowing the TX series to run at speeds of excess of 50 miles an hour for brief periods of time before its power packs begin to show slight decline. The TX series is capable of easily crushing a human spinal column with just two fingers and its thighs can crush with a pressure greater than an industrial hydraulic press. Its steel jaw and alloy teeth are harder than industrial diamonds and can crush and cut through titanium, let alone human muscle and skeletons. Like the earlier Series 1000, the Series TX utilizes mimetic polyalloy. However, whereas the Series 1000 was constructed entirely of this liquid metal, the TX series only has a liquid metal outer sheath covering its endoskeleton for infiltration purposes, which gives the T-1000 an advantage for being able to regenerate better. Like the T-1000 before it, the TX can take the form of any human it touches, typically terminating the subject upon assimilation. The TX seems to be able to mimic targets it sees as well. Stored within small reservoirs in the cranial casting of the TX, when in endoskeleton form, the mimetic polyalloy not only adds an infiltration, but also adds strength to the overall armor of the TX series. Weaponry. Aside from its increased strength and armor, the TX series is fitted with onboard weapon systems, the first infiltrator class to house advanced weaponry, each located within a reconfigurable arm underneath the mimetic polyalloy outer sheath. Within its vast internal arsenal, the TX possesses many different weapons and tools for different missions. Although it possesses many forms of inbuilt weapons, the primary weapon of the TX series is the plasma cannon. When deploying this weapon, the outer liquid metal skin of the TX peels back from the right arm, and the arm reconfigures into a plasma cannon an electric blue aura forming and intensifying around it as it charges. When fired, a tremendous burst of raw energy, 25 to 30 millimeters in diameter, is shot from the cannon. After each shot, the weapon power cells have to recharge. The tiny plasma fusion generator in the chest cavity of the TX taking just seconds to replace large power losses. Aside from the plasma cannon, the TX could also form the following weapons. An AID Chemtech flamethrower, a 223 automatic stopper, 45 caliber cascader, M41 pulse rifle, 783 chain repeater, an Amdor bio blaster, a BioRail 32SR9, and many, many more. Another of its onboard arsenal used primarily by the TX series are its nanotechnological 
transjectors by retracting the mimetic polyalloy skin from the index finger of the right hand. A 1.6 mm diameter titanium alloy drill bit can emerge from the fingertip. This is then used to drill into the casing of any electronic system, and a narrow blue aura flows through the tiny drill bit, transferring a stream of nanobots into the system. In a matter of milliseconds, a TX can connect with the electronic systems and reprogram them, controlling it by direct link or ultra-high frequency contact via download with the military communications satellite under Skynet's control. In this way, the TX can take control of any machine, including such things as electronic locks, automobiles, or even battle units. If it chooses to take over another battle unit, such as a T-850, the TX can corrupt the other Terminator systems, leaving its CPU intact but unable to control its other functions. Though the T850 is shown to be able to crash its own systems and reset itself to regain full control of itself. Weaknesses As it is made of metal, like other Terminator series, the TX can temporarily be incapacitated with an extremely intense magnetic field but it is less vulnerable to overcurrent. Like the T-800 and the other endoskeleton-based units, a vehicle crashing into it at extreme velocities can cause its body to separate. The same weaknesses that the T-1000 suffered from also apply to the TX, due to its mimetic polyalloy structure. Intense heat can cause it to suffer from glitches, However, as long as the endoskeleton isn't affected, the TX won't become immobile from bullet impacts and can continue to hunt the target. While its infiltration abilities are fairly impressive, they are inferior to that of the T-800s because it lacks living tissue and therefore the ability to sweat and bleed. Their shape-shifting ability is only useful to a point. A Terminator that is bleeding or possesses scars is more likely to be mistaken for an actual human. Thank you for watching the Skynet Terminator model TX. Special thanks to the Terminator Wiki on Terminator Fandom for all information you heard today. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe if you can. If you have, thank you, and have a nice day. Bye-bye.